Hello and welcome to this short video uh, on how to design a keyring in 2D design. Um, just a few key points before we begin. Uh, be aware that the software is called 2D design, so search for that. Save regularly in this software because it's very difficult to correct any mistakes you make. Ensure that the grid spacing is five millimeters apart. I'll show you what that means in a minute. Keep grid lock on as much as possible because that will, will help you work accurately. Um, set red lines for what you want to cut out and black lines for what you want to engrave, which means cut lightly. OK. All right, I'm going to show you how to do a simple rectangular keyring. Uh, the first thing I want you to do is make sure you double click on this grid up here, double click on there, and then set the grid spacing to five millimeters apart. If you watch the dots on the screen, you'll see they're now closer together. And we have to work on these dots because that allows us to work accurately. Next thing, you're going to have grid lock on. Try and keep grid lock on as much as possible. Okay, so if I start with a rectangle, my shape options are here. I'm going to click and hold. I've got all these options. I'm just going to start with a rectangle. Okay, um, now you notice it's jumping to the dots. That's what I want. Down here, the rel numbers, See, the numbers will come up where it says rel. That's the size of what I'm drawing. And a typical key ring is going to be something like 50 millimeters long. So if I get a rectangle, if you look at the bottom down here, you'll see. Uh, if I go, say, for example, uh, 50 by 40 millimeters and then click, there's a basic rectangle shape. And I need a, a hole in the corner where I'm going to have the key ring loop through. So if I click on circle, go for the second option here, draw a circle with a given radius. And now I'm going to set this, I think probably two millimeters is appropriate. And I can set the circle up here. Okay, press escape on the keyboard. Um, now, I don't want it just a rectangle. If I zoom in here, press the zoom all button, and it zooms me in. I don't want it just a boring rectangle, I want to round the corners a bit. So what I can do is I go back to my circles option, and if I click and hold and then go to this option, Draw a circle with a given radius, tangential to two lines. Okay, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna increase the radius here to five millimeters, and then click OK. And if I click on one side, and then the other, what that does is it puts a nice circle in there, and it's touching the lines. I'm gonna do the same in this corner. Okay, now what I can do, if you go to the delete option, delete there, and go to the second option here, I'm going to delete part of an object there, there, and there, and the same over here. So now I've got some nice rounded corners. I want a bigger circle here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the circle and go back to that option I had before, draw a circle with the given radius. Um, this time I'm going to increase the radius to, let's try 15, let's see how that looks. Click, and then click, well, that's nice and big, same over here. All right, go back to my delete option, delete the sections I don't want. Now you have to be careful you don't accidentally delete something. Right, I'm happy with that. Now that is all going to be cut out. That's the outside. So at this point, I've pressed select. I'm going to click and drag over everything. Now because that's all going to be cut, I need to set the line color as red. So here it says line. I'm going to click col, I mean color change that to red. Okay, if I press escape and click off. There we go. It's red now. Now if you want to personalize it with say a name for example, I could click on the text here um, and then I could put a name in. Let's just put a name for example Tom. I could change whatever font I want. Let's go with this one for example. Um, and I could also make it oblique, for example, like it's italic there. If I click OK, OK. Now it's a bit big, so what I need to do is shrink it down. If you select an object, you can move it by clicking on the middle yellow square, like that. And if you want to shrink it down, now what can happen? If I click on the corners and drag it down, I can accidentally squash it. That's a mistake, so I'm going to go Edit, Undo. Okay, if I hold the shift key on the keyboard, 
holding the shift key and now I try it keeps the proportions so it will shrink but it won't get all squished all right, I'm pretty happy with that you can also turn grid lock off here grid lock off and that means I can position it exactly where I want it doesn't have to stay on the the grid square I'm going to go back to grid lock on now um, the other thing you can't have fill on with the lettering so I'm just going to click fill here and no fill okay that didn't work, let me try again click on the object, fill no fill ok because otherwise it takes the laser cutter forever to try and like, cut the black um, if you want to add a, say, a line inside the object if you click on this contour button I just say click, uh, change that to 1 and I click just inside here it's giving me a nice line so just a bit more detail there so I've got the name um, I also want to add an image um, and this person likes rugby so what I would do is just if you uh, google image search a simple object for example like this just a few colors not too much detail and you right click and you copy that and then you go back to the software and then you paste it if you click uh, edit paste it'll come in now that's huge so I'm going to zoom out I'm click zoom all right now I want to shrink it down again I'm going to hold the shift key as I do this shrink it down I sort of put that in position now the laser cutter can't actually print images all it can do is cut lines so I need to convert that to a series of lines to do that you need to do a bitmap so if you click bitmap and then vectorize bitmap then you click on the object this might take a minute okay, it will come up with a screen like this um, so I'm just going to change it from all these colors to monochrome you might want to play around with the luminance to pick out the level of detail you want that's about right for what I want so once you've changed that then you can click OK OK and now this image is converted to lines and the other thing I said we want to have the fill turned off so if you click here fill and then no fill okay that just saves you a lot of time when you want to um, actually laser cut okay so there's a pretty cool image basic key ring that was a rectangle now with some curved sides an image and some personalization so I'm going to save it now I'm going to file save as um, you guys do the same okay good luck